Meteorologist Kelly Reardon here on the radar this week, 10 crazy weather facts you didn't know. The record number of tornadoes in just one day in the U.S. is a whopping 218. The number from that April 27, 2011 super outbreak was a total of 362 tornadoes, of which 11 were EF4s with 4 EF5s, the two strongest types of tornadoes. The atmosphere weighs about 5.5 quadrillion tons. Seems like a lot, but that's only one millionth of the Earth's total weight. Cleveland's weather fluctuates a lot. We didn't even make the top five for U.S. cities with the largest variance in temperature, precipitation, winds, and severe weather. Those cities are Sioux City, Iowa, Concordia, Kansas, Madison, Wisconsin, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Des Moines, Iowa. The hottest day ever recorded in Cleveland was on August 6, 1918, when the airport hit 104 degrees. Compare this to the hottest temperature ever measured on Earth, a steamy 134 degrees in Death Valley, California on July 10th, 1913. In Northeast Ohio, we are no strangers to snow. But have you ever heard of pink snow? Yep, that's a thing. It's spotted occasionally in the California Sierra Nevada mountains and the alpine regions of Colorado. The culprit is a microscopic reddish colored algae that only lives in cold climates. Thunderstorm in Unionville, Maryland on April 7, 1956 dropped 2.84 inches of rain in 50 minutes. Doesn't seem too impressive, except for the fact that 1.23 of those inches fell in just one minute. This still stands as the greatest 60-second rainfall ever recorded. Sharknado might be a ridiculous movie, but the concept isn't completely out of the realm of possibility. Water spouts and tornadoes over water actually can be strong enough to lift marine life into the air, but we're talking tiny fish. In Thomasville, Alabama, thousands of small fish, frogs, and crayfish fell from the sky during a rainstorm. An F2 tornado about 15 miles to the south was likely responsible. Fires can actually lead to puffy clouds higher in the atmosphere. It's a really cool phenomenon called pyrocumulus and they form when fast and intense heating of an area induces condensation. Volcanoes, forest fires, and nuclear explosions are all major causes of pyrocumulus. Ever heard the saying, red sky at morning, sailors take warning, red sky at night, sailors delight? There's actually some truth to this, at least in the mid-latitudes like here in the U.S. Rain-bearing systems tend to move from the west to the east following the jet stream. So the rising sun in the east may appear to shine a reddish hue on clouds approaching from the west. This fun fact is more debunking a myth. I'm sure you've heard that a car is the safe spot during a thunderstorm because of the rubber tires. While an enclosed vehicle is the safe spot, it's because of the big metal cage around you. If struck by lightning, the charge will surround the car and protect you as long as you are not touching any metallic surfaces inside. Tune in next Tuesday for more On the Radar with Kelly Reardon. For daily weather updates, head to cleveland.com slash weather.